Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a couple different letterpress text effects in Photoshop. Let's get started. So here we have our background with a vignette effect that I created using a curves adjustment layer and a layer mask. Letterpress effects usually look the best when your background has some kind of simulated lighting like this. The first thing that we're going to do is create a text effect that looks like it's sticking up and out coming towards us. So I'm going to select my upwards text and the first thing that I'm going to do is set the fill to 0% in the layers palette. This will hide the actual layer but allow us to use layer styles to create our effect. Next I'm going to double click that layer in the layers palette to bring up the layer style dialog. The first thing that I want to do is create a bevel and emboss. For the style I'm going to change it from inner bevel to emboss and that's going to create a bevel on both the inside and the outside of the outline of our text. I'm going to leave the technique set to smooth and the depth set to 100%. You want to make sure that your direction is set to up and I'm going to leave the size to 3 pixels. Depending on how big your document is, you may need to make this bigger or smaller. I'm going to leave soften set to 0 and my shading set to the default settings. So 120 degrees, use global light is checked, and the altitude is set to 30 degrees. You want the gloss contour set to the default of linear. It really doesn't matter if you check the anti-aliased box or not. For the highlight you want the mode set to linear dodge and set the opacity to about 50%. Depending on your background you may need to adjust this up or down a bit. For the shadow I want to set it to linear burn and the opacity set to 25%. So already you can see that we have an effect that kind of looks like it's sticking up off of our background. There's a couple other things we could do to make this look a little better. The next thing that I'm going to add is a gradient overlay. So I want my gradient to just be a normal black to white and I want to set the angle to about 100 degrees. We're going to use this gradient to simulate light so right now it looks like it's coming a little bit from the top left and going down and to the right. I'm going to change the blend mode from normal to overlay and then change the opacity from 100 all the way down to about 7%. If I toggle that effect on and off, you can see that it's really subtle, but it's going to really add to our overall effect. Lastly, I'm going to add a drop shadow. First, I want to set my blend mode to color burn. I'm going to leave the opacity at 35% and leave the use global light checkbox checked. That way, the lighting angle in our drop shadow effect is going to match the lighting angle in our bevel and emboss effect. Next, I'll increase the distance to about 10 pixels and the size to about 15 pixels. Lastly, I'm going to increase the spread to about 10% to make our shadow a little more dense. Under quality, it doesn't really matter if you have anti-alias checked, but you want to make sure that your contour is set to linear again. After that, you can just hit OK. Now you can see that our overall effect looks pretty realistic. Our text looks like it's popping up off the background. Now I'll show you how to do the opposite and make the text look like it's sticking into the background. So again, I'm going to choose my text and set the fill opacity to 0% in the layers palette. Then I'll double click that layer and open up the layer style dialog. Again, the first thing that we're going to do is choose bevel and emboss. I'm going to change the style from inner bevel to emboss and leave the technique and the depth alone. The big change here is that I'm going to change the direction from up to down. And immediately you'll see that it looks like our text is embedded into our background. I'm going to reduce the size just one pixel so it's set to two pixels and I'm going to leave everything else the same. Now since we want our text to look embedded in the background it's going to be a little bit darker because not as much light is going to be touching the surface. To do that I'm going to add a color overlay and set the color to black. Then I'm going to change the blend mode to color burn and set the opacity down to about 10%. Lastly I'm going to add an inner shadow and that's going to give us a nice shadow coming from the top left. I'm going to change the blend mode from multiply to color burn and decrease the opacity to 25%. Again you want to leave the angle set to use the global light so it matches the rest of our effects. I'm going to change the distance to 4 pixels and the size to 8 pixels and leave choke set to 0%. After that I'll just hit OK. If you just think about things from a logical standpoint you can recreate all kinds of cool effects like this. So first we added the edge highlights and shadows around our text, then we gave the surface of our text some lighting variation using a gradient and a color overlay. 
Lastly, we added a drop shadow and an inner shadow, which simulated the cast shadows from our text onto the background surface. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.